The last few years have seen a rash of professional football team, teams relocate to different cities, leaving behind many, many angry fans and taxpayers. Well, now the city of St. Louis is taking the NFL to court for allowing the Rams football team to move to Los Angeles after forcing taxpayers to pay for the team's stadium back in 1995. Joining me now to talk about this lawsuit and how the NFL has fleeced taxpayers for years is Molly Barrows, legal journalist with the Trial Lawyer magazine. Molly, you, these taxpayers have got to be furious. I know, and who can blame them? The more I looked into this, Mike, I thought, you know, the NFL is nobody that you want to tangle with because they want it all for themselves, and you sort of get what's left over, and it looks like in this case it's a big bunch of bills. Okay, so right now the, the taxpayers go and they build this huge stadium. They, they build the entire infrastructure Correct. for this. It's not just one stadium we're talking about. That's right. So they build the infrastructure, and then all of a sudden the Rams say, well, gee whiz, we're going we're gonna to leave now. And the only, the only recourse is to say to the Rams, well, you can leave, but we want our money back. Isn't that where this That's is headed? That's exactly where it's going, because they basically said that the Rams and the, and the owner, Krenke, misled them about their intentions, uh, that they violated the NFL's own relocation protocols. And essentially, they want the money that the Rams made off the relocation, and they want money made from what they were going to lose, essentially, in revenues because the Rams left. So that's what the lawsuit is saying. You guys weren't honest. You, uh, you knew you were going to move. And as a result, we were in the process of trying to build you a new stadium, not to mention we're still paying off the old one that we built for you in 1995, and here you want to up and move on us, and we want our money. Well, you know, the good thing, what I love about this lawsuit is you always see these unbalanced financial deals. Yes. Whether they're building in Miami or New York, wherever they're going, you see these franchises hustling taxpayers, and basically the same way they hustle their players so many times. Yes. And so this unbalanced financial agreement that we see See, taking uh, cities like St. Louis, really the only way to solve it is through money and say, gee, well, you can do this, but it's going to cost you a lot of money. Isn't that how you see it? Yes, and it's so interesting because apparently stadiums are becoming more and more outdated quicker. So this stadium that was built in 1995, you know, worth almost $300 million, now it's outdated. So St. Louis was saying, hey, we'll build you a whole new stadium. And by the way, we're going to use public funds to do it when half the time the NFL and their owners can afford to build their own, their own stadium. Well, these new stadiums, not only are they expensive, but they can make the teams and the owners can make more money off of them because they're fancier and dancier and offer box seats and this, that, and the other. So as Essentially, I think they feel like Cranky bought this property in California with the intention of building a, a, a brand new stadium there. They tried to compete with that. They couldn't do it. And uh, now they're saying, hey, you left us holding the bag knowing good and well. You let us spend more money to look at maybe building you a new stadium. But that's the precedent for cities all over the country. The NFL comes in and says, we would love to have a stadium in your city, and we would love for you to pay for it because, hey, it's going to bring you all this economic revenue. It's going to bring you jobs. But economists, and particularly this one, Roger at Stanford University says, hey, no way, that's not what's happening at all, that these cities are having to bear a bigger financial burden and they're not getting, it's not a good investment. Yeah, it doesn't sound like an investment. Of course, they're going to go city to city. This story is going to be told everywhere. I think it makes it very difficult for them going forward to try to build out another It'll place. It'll be interesting to see how this lawsuit comes out. Krenke may be more vulnerable than the NFL themselves, so we'll see. Yeah, thank you for joining me. For more videos from Mike Papantonio on America's Lawyer, you can check out rt.com shows or visit theringoffire.com.